What's good, future millionaires? We back with another banger. I'm December DeMarco, Fortune 500 marketer, and I'm here to share my insights of the market with y'all to hopefully help y'all become better informed investors, man. Salute to y'all for pulling up on the channel. Make sure you hit that thumbs up like button for the YouTube algorithm and do not forget to subscribe, man. First things first, come join our private investment community here on Facebook, private stock market gang. We're sharing tips, tricks. We're all growing. We have several students that have become multi-millionaires from the information that I'm sharing inside of this group. So tap in with us. Also, follow me on Twitter at December DeMarco. So we got the markets absolutely pumping today. It's looking good. We are up 3% overall. The market has reached a 1.93 trillion overall market cap. We have Bitcoin up 3.5% for the day at the 42,000 level. We've seen it creep to that $43,000 level, which was very important. And we've seen people start to sell off, the price push back down. But I told y'all, we need to hit that $45,000 level. Hold that as a support. And once we hold that as a support and we start moving towards that $50,000 level, crossing that will push us back into altcoin season because a lot of people will be extremely bullish and start to invest money back into these more speculative assets. So Ethereum is also doing well today, up 2.63% at that $2,995 level. We've seen that cross $3,000 as well. I've been ethereum is just uh you know what i'm saying ethereum is doing really really nice man that's one of my ones i accumulate over the long period of time i believe ethereum will be ten thousand dollars one day also bnb is another one i'm accumulating over time it's finally over that 400 dollar mark we kept seeing it down to like 360 70 84 wow so to see it back over 400 is really bullish and uh you know this is easily a thousand dollar coin in the future i definitely believe we'll see a one thousand dollar bnb this year y'all so uh check that out xrp 83 cent for today up 0.81 percent we got luna at 93 dollars down 3.5 percent for the day cardano is at 96 cent pumping at up 5.6 percent for the day and up 20 percent for the week i told y'all 26 decentralized exchanges are being built on top of cardano right now as we speak so solana 92 dollars 43 cent up 4.8 percent for the day 11 percent on the week we got polka dot at 1993 sitting up 5.8 percent for the day and also up 12 percent for the week and doge 12.3 or yeah 12.3 level up 2.84 percent and we got sheep up 2.11 percent at that 23 level now uh this is looking you know really really bullish right now we're we're holding a support level that we really need to uh consider you know holding if we want you know the prices to you know break this key support level here so we got a couple different things. So what you want to first do is identify the trend that we're in. So you can see, you know, we came off this nice downtrend here, you know, uh, you know, the price moving in this downtrend here. Then we broke this downtrend here. Broke it again, going back down. Price popped up here. But now we can see still kind of trading a little bit down. Now let's grab some support lines so we can mark our key support uh, areas. So you want to look for the furthest levels that the price is pulling back. And you might have a few uh, key support levels if you mark them at different places. But also, let's throw some resistance lines on here so we can see where the price is having trouble breaking above. Now, you don't have to do it exactly perfect, but you want to just get it right there so you can be able to you know, see where it's telling you. So looking at this right now for the short period of time, we are on this uptrend here. We found a bottom and we're moving on this uptrend. So hopefully we have a breakout here. And we retest this 28 level. Around this 27 to 28 level around. It's looking like possibly the end of March. So about the 28th 
it's looking like we can have a breakout. Now, that breakout could be to the upside or to the downside. We can't call it for sure. But with how bullish things have been, we had the Fed announce that Jerome Powell, the leader of the Federal Reserve, he announced that he would be raising interest rates, which is technically a bad thing for crypto markets. But he raised it a percentage that most people were expecting or you know, uh, they expected to see a higher uh, hike and that didn't happen. So that was bullish for our markets. So uh, that information has been absorbed, priced in. We still have a little FUD going on with the uh, Russia-Ukraine war. So prices are still kind of, you know, uncertain or, you know, uh, irrational. But I believe, you know, the market's getting tired of playing this game. And, you know, people are going to start putting their money back where they want it. Because this is one of the things. Once you get to a certain level of money, it becomes a full-time job figuring out what to do with that money. So certain people they can't just let their money sit on the sidelines they have to put that money to use so they could take it out sit on their hands for only so long before they have to get back active so i think that's what we're starting to see here the market's heating up you know uh i think things are going to be looking good so we got that first level around that 27 level 28 level then after that we got the 35 level here so those are our three areas we got to take out then to the downside we have this 21 level here and then if we move even further We got this level all the way back down to the 17s, but we could see some uh, stronger support in the 20 range, if you ask me. But it could possibly wick down to that range. So if we have a break, a breakout to the downside and we test that 20 level, we could be potentially even testing that 17 level coming up but hopefully that doesn't happen and i'm looking more to start seeing prices recover to these 30 levels so uh i'm buying right now because once we do get to these levels you know and around you know back to these 54s the price will almost be you know triple from where we are right now or your profit will be triple if you invest in it right now now remember this is not financial advice i'm just bullish on shiba inu i believe in the ecosystem the team the community so i'm okay with holding this project long term even if i buy in another 10k today and the price dips you know uh which you know normally i like to buy on red days but even if i do that if the price dips i'm not gonna panic i'm not gonna feel bad i'm not gonna say oh i should have you know uh waited i should have did this i should have did that why? Because I'm long term. I'm five to 10 years plus. So this will not affect me in the short period of time. So, uh, you know, I'll continue to buy the dip if that happens. Now, uh, here's a post from somebody in the Reddit community. I just wanted to uh, bring this post up because I wanted to let y'all know I see a lot of people that sometimes put themselves in very, very stressful situations when it comes to investing. And I want to try to uh, leave some of that uh, just by giving you some insight. So uh, we had user reflip 20 reflip d20 says had to sell it all due to a family emergency my 15 year old daughter was diagnosed with a brain tumor and needed surgery so we had many unexpected expenses she is still in the hospital in recovery she is doing great and recovering very well thank god so now i am hoping i can recover my losses but i won't be able to even attempt it for at least a month I have been it's in, in it. I have been in it since June 2021, holding and adding more on top. I had over 100 million sheep. Sorry, I had to. So, uh, reflip D20. I just want to say, man, you don't have to apologize to you know anybody or our community for you know doing what's right for your family. You know that's what investing is for. Putting money away to be able to you know let it work for you and make more money, so that way you have access to it and can use it when the time comes. And a situation like that, you know, for your daughter's health you know, uh, helping further her life, you, you don't need to apologize for anybody for that, man. That's, you're doing exactly what a father should be doing, man. So salute to you, man. Uh, you know, you got our prayers over here. So I just wanted to add that to the video just in case you're one of my uh, viewers, but yeah, don't, don't feel bad for doing what you got to do for your family, man. But, uh, you'll definitely be able to add more, you know, in the future, the price will continue to grow. And like you said, you will potentially be able to get more in a month. I don't see, uh, you know, Price is going, you know, uh, record numbers within the next 30 days. So hopefully you'll be able to get in before we actually take off back to all time highs, bro. So uh, we got some posts, some updates from Watcher Guru. Crypto Exchange Gemini has acquired license to provide electric mo money services in Ireland. Also, Commonwealth Bank of Australia, the largest bank in Australia, plans to offer additional Bitcoin and crypto services. Malaysia communications ministry wants bitcoin and crypto to be legal tender 
Also, the number of crypto users in Africa grew by 2,500% in 2021, according to a report by KuCoin. So, uh, you know, shout out to the continent of Africa, you know, uh, you know, doing big things over there in the crypto space. Y'all should really, you know, tap in and, uh, you know, know that Africa has the potential to one day, you know, be one of the leading uh, continents with uh, providing technology in this space because of the mass amount of users. So breaking the global cryptocurrency market cap has reclaimed two trillion so it dipped just under that we seen ethereum hit three thousand uh just in the global cryptocurrency trading volume has surpassed 100 billion dollars in 24 hours that is absolutely bonkers now also just in ethereum founder vitalik buterin says the global the goal of crypto is not to play games with million dollar pictures of monkeys so we see uh vitalik shooting a diss out there to the board api club or the ape nft uh lane community whatever you want to call it but also the following companies are offering crypto employment opportunities so the nfl nike hulu apple reddit paypal google disney square Deloitte, Amazon, Facebook, Microsoft, JP Morgan, Santander, Robinhood, MasterCard, Goldman Sachs, Bank of America, and Andresen Horowitz. I think that's how you say that. But you see a lot of company, a lot of companies and businesses are, you know, trying to move into this space. So right now, y'all have an advantage. You know, you can reach out to some of these companies if you have skills, you know, in certain areas that they're looking for. And, you know, the knowledge on crypto, you might be a uh, a better candidate for them to you know look into so definitely think about doing that and also think about how you can provide services and build in this ecosystem the people that learn you know and start building now in the next five years those will be the people that come out on top do not take this lightly i'm telling you so also is forty six thousand dollar bitcoin retest near i think it's possible if we continue to see you know the good news come in uh forty six thousand isn't that far away we can see bitcoin you know do five six k in a snap of a finger so just in forty three thousand dollar bitcoin also just in the u.s sec has requested a one-week extension to gather more information on ripples xrp defense submissions also just in the uk ads watchdog has issued notices to over 50 crypto companies to comply with existing laws also just in a hacker has stolen 1.7 usd worth of nfts from definance capital founder arthur arthur chung in a phishing attack so i want y'all to protect your crypto make sure you're not just clicking random links don't just be going to random websites if you don't know what it is do not go to it if you don't trust it be extra weary and never give out your seed phrase so that's pretty much all we got for this video just wanted to give you all a quick update on what's happening with the market in shiba inu i will be doing an apecoin video today after this so stay tuned for that also we will be at nft week in miami april 1st through the third so make sure you subscribe tune in we'll be covering all the nft projects out there we'll be you know spreading awareness about shiba inu and the shiboshis also our ecosystem so you know you want to tap in with me man so you can stay up to date with the latest things in the space appreciate y'all for pulling up and we are out